What's going on, you guys? Laxo here again. And this time around, we are going to be taking a look at Neliel here. She is the third, or she is the second character. So, in case you guys are curious about Grimjow, he is, you can check the video out in the comment description below. I went over an entire video covering him, my thoughts on him, my analysis on him, all that stuff. He is the free character. Only going to cost 30 shards, which you were going to get for free if you log in. And Neliel is the character that you are going to get if you actually do pulls. Again, you're probably going to need to do around 150 pulls or so. 120, 150 pulls or so, I'm assuming, to get Neliel. So, once again, she is not a free-to-play friendly character, but mostly free-to-play friendly. Alright, so let's take a look here. She is a bird. And she is a skill specialty. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull up Heroic War Soul here. Increase the crit chance of all defensive char characters by 0.67. Probably going to max at 3%. So crit chance 3%. That's interesting. Talent. Increase damage reduction rate of all allies by or all down damage rate of all characters by two percent. Really, really good. Although I am kind of curious to see crit chance on defensive characters. That's going to be actually interesting. Anyways, so this is going to be an interesting character here. Let's go ahead and take a look at her passive first. All right. Christmas Neliel has increased damage reduction rate and crit resist chance. That is sitting at 6% each at level 1, I believe. All allies gain 2 stacks of blessing at the beginning of combat, lasting until end of battle, and it cannot be dispelled. So all characters gain blessing, and what does blessing do? Blessing. Whenever an allied character with blessing receives a single instance of damage it, that exceeds 20% of their own max HP, the character will immediately recover HP equal to 10% of Christmas Delio's max HP and expend one stack of blessing. So, what that is going to do is the character is going to get attacked. If they lose more than 20% of their HP, they're going to immediately gain 10% of what Neliel's max HP is back. It could be more, could be less than 10% of their own. But nonetheless, we'll have to take a look at the bonds in a minute here. Moving on here. Whenever an ally uses a rage attack, excluding Neliel's rage attack, Neliel has a 60% chance to grant the ally and herself one stack of blessing to a maximum of two stacks. Neliel recovers 8% of her max HP and a 100 rage every time a blessing is activated. So I believe what that is going to do is somebody's going to rage and there is a 60% chance Neliel gets a blessing and they get a blessing. And if they do, Neliel recovers a 100 rage. I'm assuming that could that can stack twice because it's happening two instances at once. So if it does, Neliel can gain 16% of her HP and 200 Rage every time a Blessing is activated. Alright, unless, unless that, unless that is reading whenever another character gets hit and Blessing activates, then Neliel recovers 8% of her max HP and 100 Rage. That could also be how it's read. We'll have to test that. But I think what that is saying is... We'll just have to take a look at it later. Anyways, so when Christmas Neliel dies, all allies' Blessing are removed. So, I'm not 100% how that's going to act, but I believe what's going to happen is a rage is going to go off, they're going to 
get a stack of blessing and then whenever a stack is activated Nelio gets HP and rage okay so that's actually looking like a pretty good passive it it almost seems like it's a good combination of of like Orihime's where you get the Christmas blessing and you recover HP but also at the same time it's just when you lose HP and it's on the whole team which is also really interesting so anyways the mastery skill deals damage to a single enemy and heals Christmas Nelio and ally with the lowest HP apart from Nelio for 10% of Chris Penelio's max HP. So, she's going to use her Mastery Skill, she's going to gain 10% of her HP, and another character's going to gain 10% of Nelio's HP. That's also pretty good. It's not Lifesteal, it's a flat amount of HP, 10%. Alright, so her Rage Attack here. Deals damage to an enemy column and reduces the attack of targets by 10% for two rounds. That is a column. Increase all allies damage reduction rate by 10% and crit resist chance by 10% for one round. Okay. After weapon is awakened, the effects of this ability are increased and all allies gain Christmas Carol for two rounds. Okay, so by the looks of it, She's going to rage, hit a column, reduce the reduce the enemy's attack, and then increase all allies damage reduction rate and crit resist chance by 10% only for one round though. Alright, anyways, so after weapon awakens, the effects of this ability are increased and all allies gain Christmas Carol for two rounds. So that's not saying that's not saying this is good for two rounds it's just saying this ability is good for two rounds so christmas carol at the end of each round characters with christmas carol receive hp equal to 15 percent of christmas nelio's max hp cannot be dispelled all instances of allies christmas carol christmas carol are removed when when christmas nelio dies Okay, so this is actually quite interesting. What this is going to do is it's going to get everybody just once again flat HP back. So Neliel is actually looking really, really interesting. She's going to give everybody just a ton of the entire team a ton of healing. So the key here is to keep her alive. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek at her bonds here. What we want with the bonds is a 4 to 2 ratio of attack with double attack on the character. Or double double HP. We want 4 to 2 ratio with HP with HP on the character side. Let's see what we got. Alright, so we got... Sweet, okay, so we got double HP. And we got double HP. Okay, this is best case scenario. We got the 4 to 2 ratio. We got 4 HP to attack. Double HP on the character side. And double HP on the equipment side. Also, it's also pretty nice that it is, uh, it's the clothing, because now you could just max her clothing, get a bunch of HP from the clothing, and on top of that, get a bunch of HP just for leveling it up. So, huge. She's looking actually pretty darn good. You should be able to get her HP up very, very high, very, very quickly. Wow, that is actually looking pretty darn nice. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at her, how she plays now. All right, let's go ahead and turn off the sound here and hop right into it. All right, so let's take a peek here. Looks like we got Pesce and Donachaka there. As you can see, she has both gingerbread around her. That is two stacks of blessing, I believe. All right, so this is going to reduce their H or their attack here and increase her damage reduction. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see any HP numbers because, unfortunately, they just don't do very much damage to us. I would like to see the actual dan the actual HP that we are healing for, though. All right, so I believe that. She is getting HP back here. We'll have to take a quick look. There is... Here we go. I'm not seeing her gain any HP back. So... Yeah, I'm not seeing that. However, I'm not gonna lie, I do actually like the Rage skill. It looks pretty good. It looks clean. Doesn't do too much damage, but, I mean, you're not really going to expect a ton of damage from her. She is a skill specialty character, after all. All right, so, my final thoughts on Neliel. She's actually looking pretty dope, if you ask me. And I don't really say the word dope too often, but she's looking pretty, pretty good. Ton of healing. Once again, they're going to need to start pushing anti-healing again because with characters like Neliel, it's just going to be, she's going to be busted. Absolutely busted. Heal on the entire team. If you put her, Orihime, and Nimu on the same team, it's going to be so busted. Just heal on top of heal on top of heal. You, your characters will never be able to die. It's just never-ending healing. Wow. Anyways, you guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you guys haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down there. I would appreciate it. And uh, I will probably do some polls. I'm not going to get my Jade rebate here for probably two days after this. So I'm probably not till... What is it? It is... Wednesday today, so I'll probably so probably next week. So exactly one week from now, you will see me doing my polls, and I'll probably do a minimum of 220. So expect that video when it comes out. Other than that, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up in the comment section. If you guys think I'm wrong, let me know what you guys think about these characters. But personally, I think I think that they're pretty good. So, anyways, guys, once again. I'll catch you guys the next one.